Okay, and away we go. This is a throttle body to a uh, GM Vortec 5.3 engine. And this is the finished product. I'm putting it at the beginning of the video. So let me be the first to say that I don't have a clue what I was doing. I've never done this before. I've never tried to attempt anything like this before. Uh, the reason why I did it as an attempt to learn how to port and polish. Now I know this video is going to get a lot of criticism, and I'm fine with that, uh, of the way I did it, because I know I did a lot of things wrong. But I'm going to post it anyway, uh, for the reason that, not necessarily to try to help other people, but you know, me personally, I had a hard time finding a start to finish video. My other hope are that I can get some constructive criticism, not just getting blasted by people telling me what an idiot I am and how I did things wrong, but getting constructive criticism on how I could have done things better. Because for all intents and purposes, I'm considering this a throwaway. And the reason why I'm considering it a throwaway is because number one, I didn't know how to port it. And then of course, number two, you've probably already noticed that I grinded too much away and I actually put two holes in it. Two holes that I had to weld aluminum back in. So my first question is, will that even hold once I put this back in? The second question is, did I do it right? Am I even close? I'll use the constructive feedback from those of you who say, hey, it's fine, throw it back on, or B, with those holes it'll never work, or C, you ported it wrong, it'll never work, or any combination. So, without further ado, on with the video. All right, so the way I went about my porting and polishing of the throttle body was in several phases. Uh, phase one, I will call the uh, degreasing phase, in which case uh, I think I first hit it with uh, the brake parts cleaner, and uh, then I hit it with the easy off to degrease it. Also for degreasing, I use these brushes to get in all the cracks and crevices even more I use these wire brushes these are brass and in addition to those big wire brushes for getting into the small cracks and crevices there's these wire brushes which are great because they go right on the end of a drill all right been about 15 minutes and I'm trying to this is a huge bump right here bump so that goes more straight in so uh, so step two for the throttle body was in the big areas where I could grind away I used these two big suckers right here that one and that one to get the big areas and then I got this little kit off of uh, uh, eBay I believe a whole bunch of other bits for getting into smaller places. Another little while here. And this ridge right here is almost completely flush. A big ridge right there. completely roughed out right there. This side, not so much. And then the back side, I roughed out that ridge. That was all the way around. I'm not sure how long it's been, but I got that almost smooth. 
still working on that mountain range right there. The rest of it. Now I spent another couple of hours and I've worked on this area right here. And I think and I think I don't want to do any more. I don't want to come right through the metal. Like on the outside, by the way. Right now. It's clean, but it's ugly. And the inevitable has happened. I've gone overboard. So I'm hoping that I can just weld a little bit on that side, close up the holes. So this is what the outside looks like now. Polished it with a, a wire brush. And that's what that looks like. Now obviously, not done. Alright. So I should have stopped, but I didn't. I just kept going. And now I have hit it with 60 grit. And I'm going to move up to 80 grit. And then this got off uh, online from Jags is this port polish kit uh, which is great another thing that goes on the end of the drill but uh, so I use this as well all right that is an hour of 180 grit that's what it looks like after 80 grit It's raining. All right, I have hit it for about 45 minutes with 120 grit. So this is where we are with 120. One thousand grit. All right, this is after fifteen hundred or twelve hundred, rather. Twelve hundred grit. Didn't really get in the cracks very good. All right, so here's the polishing setup. Right there. And then a whole bunch of other ones in there. Figure out which one, which ones I need along the way. like pre-polishing. Alright, I'm done. Where it's done right, it's got a mirror finish. Where it's not done right, it looks terrible. I accidentally got overzealous. And I put two holes in it. One hole you can't see anymore. There's the other one. Uh, welded in some aluminum. And now I'm going to get back to sanding and see if I can sand it without sanding the aluminum back out. Uh, it's been a little while. I've hit it with uh, some 40, some 60 some 80 and some 120 all right I think since the last video I hit it with 200 400 800 and 1200 I think so now time to
polish. And that's after hitting it with the polish wheel. It's probably the best shot right there.